good morning chaps. You find me in a strange predicament today on a Saturday. So I'm in work uh, because yesterday we seem to have had a bit of an incident. Not dramatic like, but enough to uh, irritate one a little bit. So we obviously had some clientele in here last night who thought it would be a good idea to wreck the taps in the gents toilets so that's my job this morning come in here take them off take them out and see if i can repair them if not then of course we're gonna have to replace them and uh, coincidentally i think uh, i don't think this was done on purpose we also had the handrails ripped off the wall on the stairs so, yeah, I think I've calmed down a little bit, but on the drive in this morning, I was really quite angry uh, that people, you know, have such a lack of respect that they're quite happy to come into your venue, trash the place, and ruin your weekend. But I'm not one to, uh, to remain downhearted. Let's just tackle the problem, repair the damage, and then open the doors. And hopefully, I have some people uh, mithering away a rainy day uh, by drinking a few pints of beer. And if we can put some cash in the coffers, then if we have to buy some new taps, then we can buy some new taps. So there we go. Right then, here we go boys and girls. Here we are. I'm going to remove this timber that we're working on. Just pop it over here for now. I'll only have to move it again tomorrow. If I come to work, that is because it is Sunday, tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. So what I've done is I've removed the taps and I've brought them into the unit in order for me to check them out. So one of these was replaced recently and the other ones were original because we had one that developed a leak but while I've got them on the bench I'm going to test them all make sure that they're solid give them a bit of a clean I don't like them very much to be honest because they are quite you know they're chrome and the trouble with chrome taps chrome anything if it gets a lot of use and it's in a wet environment look it kind of starts to pit if you know where I'm coming from. There's still a bit of water in this one, look. Let's shake that water out, shake it out, shake it <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna give them a once over and then uh, I'm gonna have to fabricate a new base plate for them. So they've come up with this base plate idea which kind of sits a bit like that underneath the actual tap itself. And that allows you then, that'll be a bit further down like say there, like that, and then that allows you to clamp it into position with some bolts that go into these holes here. But it's a really awkward system and that is only about the same size as the hole that you're going to make for these to come through, so it's a bit useless. So what we're going to do instead is we'll take this little silver bracket thing and we will endeavour to fabricate a new one out of some bigger steel and uh, try and keep it in focus, boy. And then what we'll do is put the new ones underneath, send new bolts through into the bottom of here. This has got the bolts in it already, look. And usually these bolts aren't quite long enough, so what we'll do is see if we've got some that will reach in. Uh, that are probably a good 10 15 mil longer than that. Anyway, Saturday, I don't want to spend a lot of time milling around doing this, so I'm just going to crack on. So I found some M6 bolts that fit into these holes. They're 10 mil longer, they're 50 mil long, uh, just to make the whole assembly easier when I'm under the counter because it's really difficult. I'm just running the M6 tap through the already tapped holes just to uh, just to clean them up a little bit 
so they receive the bolt quite easily. I can do that with my fingers now. And then maybe to ease travel even more, just to make reassembly easier. A little bit of maintenance spray, basically. WD-40, different brand. And then I should be able to then run these bolts in all the way with my fingers and then just nip them down where I need to. So that's the bolt situation remedied. Next, we're gonna go across to the scrap bin and we're gonna have a look in there and see if we can find some suitable material to fabricate a couple more of these from. So because it's in the bathroom area, my first port of call is going to be the non-ferrous scrap bin and in here we have all sorts of goodies bits of stainless steel and what have you of varying thicknesses so ideally we're looking for something flat with maybe a bend in it to give it some strength on the shoulder and uh, something that I can cut into two strips and drill a few holes. I think we have a candidate, folks. Right, so I'll cut this down with the angle grinder and we'll start to shape it. And there we go, just like that, we have a new bracket fabricated and ready to be installed in the vandalised bathroom. The fucking bastards. Well I've just been into the pub and we've installed one of the taps. I took a punt and put them both in before testing, I've put this one in and unfortunately inside here there is a unserviceable pipe that runs all the way to the top of the unit. Uh, it's basically part of this top section here which is a flat plate and two pipes come down and then this bottom plate is press fit on to the uh, tap. So you can't get in there to repair the pipes and there's a split obviously from where it's been bashed around and twisted and pulled on, a, on the on the braided hose it's caused it to crack so that tap I'm afraid is good for nothing else but the bin so I've been online Screwfix have discontinued that particular brand of tap I need a 200 mil uh, base plate to tap outlet height because we have those basins in the um, in the bathroom which we have to get over. So I thought, well, is it worth just changing the whole basin out if we're going to do it and I can't get the taps, I may as well change it out and get some better taps and maybe a different design altogether. But you know, now's not the time. I've got too many projects on the go. I'd like to have some keg tops in there for the sinks at some point or some cask tops. They'd look nice, I think. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to do it now. So I've had a look on eBay and I managed to find the same tap as that for 15 quid. Of course, it might not be here until the 2nd of August. So we're just gonna have to fly with one tap in the gents at the moment. I think that's gonna be fine. Uh, but yeah, so yesterday's act of mindless vandalism has now cost me my Saturday and 
cost us 15.99 in parts so far. Stuart's had to go and get some parts for the handrails that have, I think, I don't think they were ripped off intentionally. I think that's just wear and tear. But to add the cost of those on, they were 1.99 each from Screwfix. So, you know, that's another uh, eight quid. So, in total today, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but in total today we're at about 25 notes already. So I'm gonna go back in there with the cordless. I'm gonna put on the handrails. He said he's brought the fittings for me and they're in there, but we're just gonna to have to wait until the taps arrive to carry on with the repair in the gents, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah, I would like to have got them done today. You know, I'm at work as well now. I feel like I may as well start cladding these bloody tanks. Anyway, onwards and upwards, ladies and gentlemen. So I just couldn't help myself, chaps. I clad another tank. So that's three done. And we made a start on the fourth. Your little beauty. And then there's just this one to do. I reckon they'll all be done. Come end of play on Monday. And then hopefully Tuesday we can get the beer out of the tanks over there. And uh, maybe start brewing next week. I really need to brew. One good thing though is this break in the weather, this bit of rain has allowed the chillers to catch up. It's now sitting at minus 11.4 and it's bringing these three tanks down nicely. So it's got a bit of breathing space. Right, I'm going to throw the camera into the camera bag and get my tools in the car and we're going to go home and uh, maybe finish off a little bit of this wardrobe project. This needs to be put in, for instance. And uh, we've got some electrics to finish off. I never thought 